Wouldn't it be nice to have some coffee today? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Anush Kanya and I'm a 3D modeling artist using Blender. Do you ever find yourself in those days where you want to go and buy some coffee but don't have the time and energy to do so? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own Starbucks coffee cup right from your home. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So in order to get started with the cup, we're going to delete the default cube and add the reference image. You can find the link in the description below. Once the image is loaded, we will add a circle by pressing Shift A and circle. To reduce the opacity so that we can focus more on the mesh rather than on the image. Click the circle, go into edit mode and press E, Z in order for it to be extruded to the top of the cup. Press S to size it a little bit bigger and select the vertices on the bottom of the cup and press F in order to create a face. Go into face mode and press I to create an inset and then extrude it with E in order to create the cup's base. Press I to inset it a little bit more and to have more faces at the bottom of the cup. Press O to go into proportional editing and press GZ to move it a little bit downward. Afterwards, I'm going to add a solidify modifier to increase its thickness and adjust it at the thickness we would want the cup to have. Afterwards, I'm going to press Ctrl plus 3 and that will add a subdivision surface modifier. Move it to the top of the solidify modifier in order for it to have a high poly reference. Press Ctrl R on your keyboard to create some loop cuts and add more faces into the cup. Feel free to increase or decrease the thickness. That will depend on how thick you would want the cup to be. Now proceeding with the lid, select the edge on top of the cup, press Shift D to duplicate and move it up, press P and selection to separate it from the cup and rename it to lid. One final step, press on the cup, right click, shade smooth and go into the vertices properties, normals and auto smooth it for it to have a smoother look. Press H to hide it so that we can focus more on the lid and disable the modifiers by pressing on the screen option. While clicking on the lid, don't forget to go into object set origin to geometry in order to put the origin at the center of the circle. Press E to extrude, GZ to move upwards and create the shape of the lid. Press E to extrude, S to escape and S to scale to the center. Then we repeat the process and press E to extrude and at the end we're going to press F to create a face.
press I to inset and E to extrude downwards. Select all the vertices from one half of the circle by pressing left click and control to the other vertex. Press RX to rotate them on the X axis and GZ to move them downwards a little bit. Don't forget to add some more edge loops by pressing Ctrl R so that when we add the subdivision surface modifier it gets a smoother high poly look. Select the two faces on top of the leads. Press I to insert them to the center and press E to extrude them downwards. Press X to the lead and delete faces. Then we enable the modifiers and there we have it, the final lead of the Starbucks cup. Decrease or increase the thickness according to how you would like the lid to be. I'm also going to inset the top face a little bit more in order for it to have more polygons. Press Alt H to unhide the cup on the bottom. Click on the lid, go into edit mode and select the bottom edge of the lid. Press GZ to move it downwards a little bit so that it covers the top of the cup. Finally, apply the modifiers both on the lid and the cup. To make the cardboard on the cup, create a circle by pressing Shift A circle and change the number of vertices to 64. Press S to resize the circle to match the cup size. Move it downwards by pressing GZ and extrude it to the top. Press E to extrude, S to scale and GZ to move it upwards. Go into wireframe mode by pressing Z and moving the mouse to the left. Select all the edges, go to select and checker deselect. Now go to vertex properties, create a new group and assign it. Press Shift D to duplicate the cardboard and S Shift Z to scale it only on the X and Y axis. Press R and Z to rotate it a little bit to the right. Select the first and the second cardboard and press Ctrl J to join them. Press Ctrl E bridge edge loops so that we can create a cardboard style. Shade smooth it and go and press the auto smooth option. Rename this to cardboard. Now we're going to add colors to the Starbucks cup. Go to the shading tab and add a material to the lid, to the cup and to the cardboard. To start we're going to select the lid and we're going to change the color to a grayish tone. Then we're going to update the specular value and the roughness value. Select the cuff, 
and we're going to add a red color also don't forget to update the roughness and the specular values to add a texture to the cardboard I'm going to add an image texture node and load the corresponding images you can find the corresponding images on the link in the description below I'm going to join the first base color node to the base color property and I will add the roughness and the normal map Be sure to change the value of the roughness and normal map into non-color. To properly join the normal map, don't forget to add a normal map node and join it between the image texture nodes. Now we also need a logo on the cardboard, so we're going to add it as a sticker on the texture paint tab. Before we add the logo to the cardboard, we have to make sure that the cardboard has its normals facing outside. Also be sure to select the base color so that we paint on the base color itself. To check if the normals are outside, click on mesh normals and recalculate outside while selecting all of the faces from the cardboard. Then to add the sticker, we're going to go into texture and add a new texture. I'm going to rename it to Starbucks logo. We go into the texture tab and we open the logo, which you can also find on the link in the description below. Go back to the paint tools and change the mapping into stencil. Click on image aspects. And now move the sticker by pressing ALT, right click on the mouse. You can also rotate it by pressing CTRL and right click on the mouse. And just paint it on top of the cardboard by left clicking on the mouse. Go to the back of the cup by pressing CTRL, numpad 1 and repeat the same process again. Don't forget to save the image itself and your render file too. Now I will create a small background scene so that we can proceed with the render. Now I'm going to render it by pressing F12 or render render image. And there we have it, our own Starbucks coffee cup. Thank you so so much for watching, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment and share with your friends. And I'll see you in the next video, bye!